If you're trying to find out how to get American Netflix on a PS4 or an Xbox One, then this is the video for you. This method works now and will in the future as well for the PlayStation 5 and also the Xbox 2 or Xbox Scarlet. Hey guys, my name is Jonathan and this is TechWiz Time where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at how you can get American Netflix working on your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Now there are a lot of videos out here describing how to do this, but unfortunately they're using an older method called the Smart DNS method. Microsoft and Sony made changes to their console, which basically means that anytime you try and put in this Smart DNS into your PS4 or Xbox, it doesn't actually work. It defaults to the Google servers. So I've tested this method and it works right now and it will work in the future as well because it bypasses those DNS settings. So this is a tutorial and it's gonna take a little bit to get there in the end, but there's a couple of things that you're gonna need. Firstly, myself in this tutorial, I'm using PIA or private internet access. Next, I'm using this cheaper AC router from eBay. This one in particular is a little bit special because it's got a system on there called Gargoyle. And this will allow us to connect our VPN and use it on our Xbox or PlayStation 4. Now, the reason why I like this method as a separate router is because if your whole network was connected to a VPN, then every time your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, father, any, anything like that, anytime they went to a website, it would think that they were in that country. So by taking that out of the equation and putting it into a separate router, it means that only things connected to that router are going through a VPN. So enough explaining that, let's get into the meat of it and we'll go through the tutorial and get this up and running. So like I mentioned before, you will need to get PIA or private internet access. There's a link down in the description below. You can use your own VPN, but the way that I'm doing it here is specific to PIA. Next, you'll need to have purchased this router from eBay. Now, the other thing you will need a laptop or a home computer with an ethernet port. Now, this is pretty important because we're gonna have to connect the router, this new one, up to your computer or laptop. And it needs to be via an ethernet cable. So first we'll jump over to the computer and we'll download a couple of pieces of software. The first one up is WinSCP. Now this piece of software here will help us to communicate or drop files onto the router with Gargoyle. Next we'll need to download the latest OpenVPN configuration files from PIA. Now like I mentioned, the full tutorial for this video is gonna be on my website, but also I'll include links down in the description below, as well as the link to my website. So once you've downloaded the OpenVPN configuration files, you need to extract that to a new folder. And whilst we're on the computer, we need to find out what your existing home router's IP address is. Now to do that, you'll need to hit the start button and start typing in CMD and press enter. Now, once you're in the command prompt, we need to type in ipconfig and press enter. And what we're looking for here is the default gateway. Generally, it should be something like 192.168.1.1. So make sure you take a note of that address and write it down on a piece of paper because we're gonna need it in a little bit. Now the next step, we'll need to hook up the router to the actual computer or laptop. So you'll need an ethernet cable going from LAN port one into your laptop or computer. And if you are using wireless internet or anything like that on your laptop or home computer, you will need to disable this. So once you've got your router connected to your computer or your gargoyle router, I should say, you need to open up a web browser and go to the following IP address. It should be 192.168.1.1, but if you've got any problems, make sure you ask the eBay seller, just in case that doesn't work. First things first, it should ask you for a password. Now just type this in. It should generally be password out of the box, and then it will ask you to set a new password, and you need to type that in twice. So now we're into Gargoyle, we need to change a couple of settings in here. So we'll go on the left-hand side and go to connection, and this will be to set up the wireless access on this Gargoyle router. So we need to leave gateway as default, then under Internet WAN, we need to connect to wireless DHCP. Under local network LAN, what we need to do here is we need to give the Gargoyle router an IP address that's in the same uh, network as yours. So the IP address that you got at the very start should have been something like 192.168.1.1. What we want to do is we want to give this Gargoyle router an IP address in that range. So what that means is that the 192.168.1. The very end there is the range that we've got. And we've got from dot one, which is the router, to 255. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that to say, a good number would be here, say 20. So 192.168.1.20 is going to be the default gateway. 
So under wireless next, you need to go to SSID and click on the scan button. And then you need to choose your home wireless network from there. Once you've done that, you need to type in the password for your home wireless network and then hit on the save changes button. So now your Gargoyle router should be connecting to your home router via the Wi-Fi on board. But we'll need to confirm this, so open up a new tab and just try and go to any sort of website. And as long as it works, then you should have set it up fine. Otherwise, go back and check your settings. Even better still, if you are having issues, leave me a comment down in the description below. So next, we need to create three new text files. And I'd recommend a text editor like Notepad++, purely because this keeps things in order and also formats them correctly. So the three text files that we need to create is auth.txt, client.crt, and client.key. So in the auth.txt file, what we need to do is we need to put in the PIA username on the first line, and then on the second line, we need to put in your PIA password. So your username should be the one that starts with the letter P, I believe, and then a whole heap of numbers. Once you've done that, you need to save this file and close it. Then we need to open up the client.crt file, and in here, we need to input a specific string of text. Now this will be in the link in the description below or on the tutorial on the website. So once you've done that, click save and close. And then lastly, in the client.key file, you need to put in this particular string of text. And that is again down in the description below or on the website. So once you've done that, click save and then close. Great, we're halfway. We're getting there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to install WinSCP and we need to make a new connection. So what we need is the file protocol to be SCP. Under hostname, we need to put in the IP address that you set as the Gargoyle router. The port number should be 22. The username should be root. And the password should have been the new password that you set for the Gargoyle router. Now you can log in and once connected, we need to navigate to the folder that is etc. and open VPN. Now we need to upload two files here. We need to upload the auth.txt file and inside the PIA configuration folder, there'll be a file in there with the extension .pem. So you need to copy this one to that folder as well. You can simply drag and drop. So that's it for WinSCP. How awesome is that? Now we're in the last leg of the journey here. Next, we're gonna be setting up the actual VPN on the Gargoyle router. So next, we need to open up the OVPN file that's associated with the server that we're gonna to connect to. In my case, I'm gonna be connecting to the Silicon Valley server because that's the closest to me. Being in Australia, the west coast of the US is actually closer with me living on the east coast. So I'll right click on that one and open it with Notepad++. And the line where it says auth-user-pass, we need to add this little string onto the end of that. This is basically just telling it where to get the authorization for the VPN, as in your username and password. Next, what we need to do is we need to remove the last two lines of information or strings of text there. And we need to replace that with this string of text here. Once you've done that, you'll need to save this file. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to save it as a different name. So in my instance here, I'm going to be calling it PIA OpenVPN or OVPN, sorry. And instead of having the .ovpn extension, we're going to give it a new extension, which is going to be .conf. So altogether, it'll be PIA OVPN .conf. So save that file somewhere where you're going to be able to find it. Now we're in the last stretch. How awesome is that? So we're going to jump back to the Gargoyle router in our browser tab. And over the left hand side under connection, we need to go to OpenVPN. Now from the drop down menu there, we need to choose OpenVPN client and under upload format, we need to change that to be individual configuration files. Now where it says OpenVPN config file, we need to use the CONF file that we just created. Next under CA certificate, we need to use the file in the PIA configurations folder that we extracted at the very start. Now that file is crl.rsa.2048.crt. Under client certificate file, we need to choose the client.crt file that we created before. And the client key file is the one that we created before, which was called client.key. Click on the save changes button and you're done. Now you can disconnect the LAN cable from your computer and plug that into the back of your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. And with any luck, you'll be browsing American Netflix on your console. How awesome is that? Now there's always a chance that things are gonna go wrong here, so make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you've gotten into any trouble and we'll see if we can help you out. So links for everything that I talked about in this video will be down in the description below. The Gargoyle router, the private internet access VPN, the website article with everything fully written out, and all the links to the software that you'll need to download. Now I need to ask a favor. If you found this tutorial really helpful 
and it helped you to get Netflix or American Netflix on your Xbox One or PlayStation 4, I'd really appreciate if you could share this on social media platforms like Reddit, Facebook or Twitter. It'll really help this video get out there to those people that really want this information. And if you enjoy the content that I've made here today, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell notification icon so you get notified whenever I release new videos. If you want to help this channel to grow, then you can through Patreon. Otherwise, make sure you like this video for me. Thanks for everyone's support over the years, for the regular viewers here, and as always, imagine, learn, create.